Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video on how to enable virtualization in your computer BIOS. You can run VMs, virtual machines, free and easy. Now within Windows there are a couple of indicators that will show you that virtualization is not enabled within your BIOS and we're going to go ahead and do that. First of all, let's go down to our search uh, line here and type in msinfo, msinfo, and we'll go up here and click on that. And that opens up the system information window here. And we can go down the column in the center. And right down here, you can see virtualization is not installed or not enabled. Let's go ahead and close this out and the second way to see if virtualization is running or is enabled on this computer is to actually try to open up a VM, a virtual machine. I have Oracle VM VirtualBox installed on this computer so I'm going to go ahead and open up VirtualBox and I have already um, have two clients um, installed on here. Windows 10 I have installed twice and I'm going to attempt to open up one and I get this error and if I try to open up the other one I also will get the same error and let's go ahead and do that and there we go uh, we got the same error so it's not able to open up a VM on this machine because virtualization is not enabled in uh, this computer's BIOS or the CPU itself may not support it. So let's go ahead and do a restart. I'll go down to the start menu here and click on restart. And when the computer restarts, I'm going to press F2 on this computer because F2 allows me to get into the BIOS on this one. Now in some computers, um, the delete key will allow you to get into the BIOS. You have to try both and see which one's going to work. Okay, I'm in there and I went over to the advanced tab here and this is where I want to enable two um, items, Intel VTX and Intel V. TD and you may have one or the other or both but go ahead and enable them once you do go ahead and save the configuration just like I'm doing here and this will go ahead and restart the laptop computer again for me and I'll go ahead and type in my password and get back into Windows where I'm going to go back into MS info by going down to the search line again and typing in MS info go up and click on the app system information and I'll open this up and scroll down the center column and there you go it says yes now on the virtualization because before it did say no as you recall earlier alright we're good to go let me close this out and now I'm going to go ahead and attempt to open up a virtual machine on this computer I have Oracle VM as I mentioned before installed so I'm going to go ahead and open up VirtualBox and I have two clients and it doesn't make any difference which one I click on here and I'll go ahead and click on the second one here and this should go ahead and open up the VirtualBox VM machine on this computer and it is going right into Windows 10 here for me as you can see and so um, virtualization is good to go on this computer. Now a few things to keep in mind that once your virtualization is enabled in your BIOS it should work just fine with any VM app such as VMware or VirtualBox. Also what's important is that the CPU, your processor, also should support the um, virtualization. Some of them don't, so keep that in mind. Okay, we've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.